What's up, guys? We are still talking about what is going on, what is trending in Nigeria. Greetings to you wherever you are. All right, um, I have this video to share with you uh, from Mrs. Uh, Ngozi okonjo Iwela during the Southeast Economic Summit. And then the, what she said makes a whole lot of sense. Before I share the video for you guys, let me quickly give you my own personal opinion. What I've seen uh, within, or should I say, yeah, within the uh, Saudis, especially their stakeholders, which uh, I will allow you to listen to what uh, Mrs. Okonjo Iwela uh, says here. Now, what is going on in Saudis? Let me, you know, demonstrate it uh, with a story. Now, once they leave a king, and that king uh, wanted to test the loyalty of his two servants, yes. And then the, the king called the first servant and told the first servant, if you, are if you are loyal to me, I want you to go out there, betray your people, you know, kill them, do anything you feel like doing. To your people just be against your people to show that loyalty to me guess what the first servant went out there do all manner of things to his own people his own personal people you understand just to please the king to show his loyalty to the king he betrayed his people kill his people you know blackmail his people be against his people just to show the loyalty he has for his king. And then the, um, the king called the second servant and gave him the same assignment. If you are loyal to me, go out there, you know, betray your people, whatever you can do to your people, be against your people just to show that loyalty. Let me see if you are loyal to me. The second servant said, no, my king, rather than go out there to kill my people, rather than go out there to betray my people and be against my people. Why not you take my life and allow my people? Yes, rather than me to go out there and be against my people. And then the, the king was surprised and shocked. Guess what happened next? The king called the two servants and then the four servants that betrayed his people. The king told him, if you can betray, kill your people, be against your people, do all manner of things against your people just to show your loyalty to me. What is my faith? How do I trust you? That me, that I'm not one of your people, I'm not among you. Why will I trust you with my life? If you can do this to your own brother, if you can do this to your own sister, why do you think me, that is not your brother and your sister, should trust you? That is how it is. That is the same thing that is going on in Southeast, especially their stakeholders. Betraying their own fellow brothers, backbiting. Let me allow you to listen to what uh, Mrs. Ngozi have to say. Betray their own people just to please people that will eventually abandon you. Now, you feel you want to please these people. You guys should understand what I'm trying to say. You feel you want, you think you want to please these people so that these people in one way or the other can compensate you or whatsoever. You understand. And forgetting that these people have sense. Within them, they will look within themselves that if you can do this to your own brother, why do you think these people will trust you? It's common sense. Let me allow you to listen to what Mrs. Ngozi have to say. If you have anything to contribute, put it down in the comment section below. Available solutions. The Southeast has so many talents and opportunities, and I think we can plan how to exploit them all to the benefit of the region and its people. On our challenges, I'm sure you expect me to mention the big gaps in infrastructure and services. Yes, that is a challenge and we'll come to that. But I don't think it is our biggest challenge. Our biggest challenge in the Southeast is ourselves. I need to speak frankly. We have too often been our own worst enemies. We have allowed ourselves to be divided. We've lost focus. 
and lost sight of our biggest assets, namely a sense of community and mutual support. We no longer have solidarity. Instead, we have fragmented as a people, and that has made us forget how to work with each other. We don't support each other. Instead, we attack and undermine each other. We are too individualistic, and individualism can be good, but not when we need to come together as one to enable us to deliver. But there is a bright side to this challenge. If our big pro problem is ourselves, it means that the solutions also lie in our hands. If we can build a sense of common purpose and cohesion, we can solve the other problems. To do this, we need to exercise joint leadership, and that is precisely why it is so important that you are taking this step today. Our other big challenge is security. This has arisen partly from our fragmentation. Insecurity in our region is sending the wrong signals about whether 